This is a standard. Utah inventor Paul Pantone has developed what he calls the GEAT fuel processor, a plasma generator similar to a super carburetor that actually appears to run on 80% water and is entirely non-polluting. This device replaces the carburetor and exhaust and combines them as one unit, whereas this end of it acts as a miniature refinery, allowing the engine to run on everything from battery acid and water mixed to crude oil right out of the ground. This is Angola crude, 39.5 gravity. The exhaust coming down goes around and comes out here at the far end. The center chamber draws some of the heat from the exhaust Plus, this tube takes some of the exhaust gases, takes them up into the chamber, and bubbles them down to the bottom. The bubbles, as it comes through the fuel, are brought up to the top of the chamber, picked up through a tube, and fed up the center of the exhaust pipe. While they're being fed up the exhaust pipe, they are in a vacuum, and there's a heat exchange which occurs. This process has been argumented argued a few times to be either a plasma field, an electro field. We do know that it does have a slight radiation, which is not alpha, beta, or gamma. And we do have x-rays to show that whatever is coming from the unit does get affected different from stainless steel than uh, the regular steel. Yep. The temperature of the exhaust is the same as the air temperature going in from the air portion up here. Normally one, three percent more oxygen coming out of the tailpipe than there is in the air we're breathing. And no carbon at all. Carbon vanishes. I wouldn't say vanishes, I would say transmuted into some other substance, a lighter element, because we have an abundance of lighter elements here that are not explained from down here. But during the heat process, uh, there are molecular changes. After running this engine from 1983 until now, and many times we had it running eight, eight, eight and a half hours a day, uh, we have never had to change spark plug, change the oil, or clean it. We have taken the head off three times to inspect the inside of it, and it's been spotless. <laughs>